One of the world's largest Christian universities is opening a new center to fight attacks on Christianity and the Constitution. Liberty University President Jerry Falwell and Turning Point USA founder Charlie Kirk are establishing the new think tank in Lynchburg, Virginia to push back on a perceived attempt by the media, academics, and politicians to convert Christians into socialists. The Fall Kirk Center hopes to answer a common question, was Jesus Christ a socialist? And with us now is Jenna Ellis, ambassador for the Falkirk Center and a Trump 2020 legal analyst. Jenna, good to have you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much for having me, especially on this you know, great occasion to talk about the Falkirk Center. Yes, well, tell <laughs> us about your role with the center and why the need for it now. Absolutely. So um, I'm a constitutional law attorney and also, of course, a Christian. And so uh, when we look at the culture right now and we see especially young people who call themselves Christians, but then they have a disjointed and confused worldview on everything everything else. They have uh, just a kind of a hodgepodge or selection of this smorgasbord of their view on economics, on government, on private enterprise, on philosophy, on so many different things that it's not really comprehensive. And so what we want to do is proclaim the truth of Christ and that the foundation of the Christian worldview actually informs us in everything else that we understand about the truth of the reality to which God presented us. So my role is to explain the truth of government and to uh, help help people understand that when we look at American government and we look at the founders who said specifically in the declaration, we hold these truths to be self-evident. Truth is self-evident that all men are created equal. They're endowed by their creator, not their government with certain unalienable rights. And so the only goal of government and the only mandate for American government is to preserve and protect those God-given rights. So when you and I talk about having a right to free exercise of religion, that's not because of the First Amendment. It is a God-given unalienable right that our government is obligated through the First Amendment to preserve and protect. Now here's a challenge. Many of the younger voters of the younger generation believe that socialism is you know, this great thing. You're finding it sort of a growing trend among them. Even some saying that Jesus was a socialist. What are you all gonna do to come against that? Yes, yeah, so we're going to actually use the same tools that the left is using uh, by, through the media, through entertainment, through um, all of these uh, social media influencers and really take back the narrative and try to explain this in these you know, quick sound bites and let people understand that uh, not just these top level issues and not just that socialism by itself is okay or that pro-choice, for example, by itself is one isolated issue, but how all of these things comprehensively have to come back to the root of the Christian worldview and the reality to which God presented us. So for example, we know that our government has very limited authority. We can't go to Congress and say, let's, let's all get together and repeal the law of gravity. Wouldn't that be great for America? We know we don't have that authority. In a similar way, we don't have the authority to go against the moral law of God. All right, Jenna Ellis with the Falkirk uh, Center. And also we should mention a Trump 2020 uh, legal analyst. It's great to have yes. you. Thank you for being here. We'll talk so impeachment next and time. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course, that's what everybody's talking about. Yeah. But, uh, but until then, follow us at the Falkirk Center on Facebook.